This is a preliminary guide to the trade skill aptitude system that's coming out probably this upcoming week. Now this is in the PTR. They said they've done the final run through of patching it, although they could change things before it comes out. We'll have to see about that. But the way that aptitude works is that every skill when you hit level 200, let me show you this, when we hit level 200, uh, you get skill, like you need XP and you get XP to go around the wheel forever, getting aptitude levels. That's what the zero is right here. And every level, there's the, this tick, this tick, and then the final tick, and then it resets. It uses the same amount of XP every circle. So 1.4 million for uh, Arcana. Well, that's going to be 1.4 million to go all the way around. And then 1.4 million again. It's just going to be the same no matter how many times you do it. Now, at each one of these little ticks, you get a chest or a cache, as it's called. And when you get a cache, it immediately dumps an emerald gypsum into your inventory. And... There's something that they finally, on the final iteration, the way that it works is you can only get one gemerald ips, uh, ipsum, one emerald gypsum per day. So once you go through, so say harvesting, and I get this first tick, and I get an emerald gypsum, and I get a cache. Well, after that, if I go to the next one, I get a cache, but I do not get an emerald gypsum. So they're trying to encourage us to just do a little bit every day instead of stockpiling them. Now, when the PTR first came out, we could stockpile them, but they have since changed that around. So now, again, it is a once a day type of thing. And this is not per profession. So I tried getting a harvesting cache and then going on to get a skinning cache, and it didn't matter. You just get one cache per day, at least from gathering. I didn't try gathering, then crafting, or gathering, then refining, because cr uh, crafting and refining are such a pain in the butt to do in PTR. But I have a strong suspicion that it's going to be the same way, but I really, I'm not 100% sure. Um, that's why this is a preliminary guide, okay? We're going off of what we have right now. When this goes to live, where I have level 200 everything, I'll be able to go through every single one and check all the caches, see what we get, and go through all that. So look forward to that, because you're subscribing for that, because I'm going to do a really in-depth guide once this goes live. But as for what I know right now, every single cache has its own items, and different professions give different things that matter. So like weaponsmithing, armoring, engineering, jewel crafting maybe, and then arcana, they can drop patterns that'll guarantee a 600 gear score item where you get to control an attribute and you get to pick one perk and then the other two are random. So those are really important. Everyone's going to be wanting to farm those as fast as they can in order to get super good gear. Uh, definitely expect people to want that. Uh, refining just gives materials, I think, and stuff. I don't really remember offhand. And then gathering was just like tr crafting mods and more of the materials, so or calcum ingots or whatever, stuff like that. I can't remember the exact items, but those types of items. Uh, but the other thing is that they all drop vials of Azoth. Which, if you saw my other video, I told people that you need to sell your vials of Azoth because now there's a lot more being generated. But they have changed it since then. I was actually kind of curious, so I farmed up more of these things because when I first did this, I was I did a, I was I made this whole video. It took me like you know however many hours to test everything and everything, and then I have to go and do it again because they redid stuff on the PTR and redid the whole system. But I have I've redone a bunch, and we're gonna see what's in these chests. Before it was a guaranteed vial of Azoth pretty much every single time. Uh, we're gonna see what it is now. So let's open up some of these. Okay, so a green gave me blister weave, verbena flower, and vial of suspended azoth. Let's see what a blue gives. Two vials of suspended azoth, blister weave, scale cloth, verbena stem, draw of azalea nectar. That's not bad, man. That's nice. Okay. And then this one. Oh my goodness! It gave me four vials of azoth, blister weave, scale cloth. And then, oh, draw to Vicious Azoth. Wasn't that not in the game before? I don't remember. Anyway. Wow. Okay. What about the cache of skinning materials? Oh, my goodness. I got lucky. I got three vials of Azoth. And I got some scar hide. Okay. Let's open up this. Two vials of Azoth. The scale cloth. Dude, I wonder if they're really going to go through with this. I mean, they have time to go back on this and walk this back. But that is so much Azoth. That is so much. Oh, I got... Five Azoth! Oh my god, this stuff is going to literally be worth 10 coins a piece. This is insane. You guys have no idea how easy it is to get the harvesting one. Okay, so for example, the harvesting one. If you are lucky on a low pop server especially, and you go out to the best place in the game to farm the XP, which is uh, Northwest Windsward, you can get maybe two caches per like 20 minutes, I want to say. Per hour, you could easily get four to five to six caches. So you could farm, like, on top of getting hemp and some iron uh, wire fiber and different materials while doing it, you're going to be getting 
like, I don't even know, what is that, like 20 vials of Azoth on average or something per hour? So you better bet those are going to go way down. I mean, we can literally farm as many as we want with any of these. Pretty crazy. That's actually insane how many that just gave. I'm like kind of in shock. But anyway, the gypsum. So the gypsum, again, once a day. You don't get them from the caches anymore. You just get it when you level up one aptitude. Bam, you just drops like an item, like you pick something up. And then you use these gypsums in order to up your expertise level, which now you can see next to every weapon. And that's going to be going live with this patch. And you can pick which one you want to go up. So let me show you how that works. So this is a gypsum killing. You can find these in ebb and scale reach after the patch and in requater and in any of the outposts. You can go to the outposts if you want to avoid paying taxes as some tyrannical uh, company or something. So in here you can make gypsum orbs and these gypsum orbs can be used to make what to up the expertise of whatever piece of gear that you want. So you can only make one per day. You see the little uh, hourglass next to each one. You can only make one per day of each type. So if you want to get the maximum, you got to go get obsidian, sapphire, emerald, citrine, uh, amethyst, on and on and on, and go make one of each gypsum orb per day. And also nowadays, like I said, you can only get one, like, get the exact amount for each one per day. You can't stockpile them like they when they first put the PTR out. So these really are dailies. You are going to have to do this daily. You cannot stockpile your rewards. But once you have enough, you're going to go to this. It costs a tiny... They've reduced the tax amount. It's almost free to make them now in taxes, assuming taxes aren't like a trillion percent. So you're going to take it and you're going to craft and it's going to give you a gypsum orb. Now at this point, whatever you had, emerald, diamond, whatever type onyx, it's just gypsum orb. They all go to the exact same item. That item can be used however you want for any of this stuff. So my legwear is the highest. So I'm going to do legwear just to see. So then you're going to craft a legwear cast and you can do that once a day as well. You can only do each one once a day. Now it's on cooldown. You see I craft again in 22 hours. Uh, I could craft, theoretically, all these, except I can only make seven gyps or eight gypsum orbs a day. And there's all these. So you have to pick and choose what you want to level up. But anyway, the legwear. I made the legwear one. So you see over here, my legwear is 523. So if I open up the gypsum legwear cast, I got, I've given me an actual piece of gear. This one was 527. That bumped it up by five, which is apparently the maximum, if I remember right. It can do anywhere from two to five uh, increase. And that amount goes down as you get higher. So once you're like 590, it's going to be between 2 and 2 or 2 and 3. You can barely go up. So it does slow down once you get higher. But you can do that on top of the old system. The old system got nerfed a little bit, but it's still there. You can still loot elite supply chests. You can still uh, fight bosses and have them drop things. You can still run the dungeons and have the bosses drop expertise bumps. Uh, all those mechanisms are still in the game. A few of them are kind of nerfed and some of them aren't. So this is on top of the old system, basically. So that's how that works for all of this. But now let's take a look at something else. So I had to make a new character because they originally didn't have these skills at 200 and make a new character on the PTR. So here's how much you need for each one. Weapon smithing, armoring, and I think engineering were the same. It was 1,764,000 to go full circle. So that means you get one every, like, I can't divide 1,800, six, every 600,000 XP, something like that. And same thing for armoring, same thing for engineering. Uh, jewel crafting those only 907,000 to go full circle, which is a lot more forgiving. And then Arcana is 1,439,000 to go full circle. And then cooking is only 210,000 to go full circle. Furnishing is about 2 million to go full circle. It's the most expensive one. And they apparently nerfed the tier 3 caches to not drop legendary craft or trophy materials, which makes this one kind of just a troll skill, other than for that small, small one in like 250 chance of getting an orichalcum chest recipe which is not worth time and investment and then we have smelting and all these are 2,437,500 xp to go full circle so all three it is the same for each one of these they all are exactly the same for the refining now for gathering they vary logging is 124,640 it's a reasonable one to get up if you're doing ironwood but it's not super fast Mining's only 49,480, so mining's actually, you'll get this fairly often if you're actually mining things when you're out and about running around. And then fishing, I am not 200 because they didn't put it to 200 in the PTR for some reason, because I guess they just don't care about fishing at all. I don't know, fishing feels like a troll skill at this game that they've completely forgotten about, to be honest with you guys. Maybe because of the bots, and they just feel that sad about it, I don't know. Harvesting, though, is the easiest one. 53,490, and harvesting's extremely easy to get. I have a feeling they may nerf this at some point, or maybe before it even goes to live, they may nerf this, because it really is so insane. Like, you can literally get, like, six to, six cash, or... Yeah, maybe six caches per hour, possibly, if, if you're in a place where no one's contesting. If uh, people are, you know, taking tons of resources and you're fighting with people, it's not going to be as fast. 
Skinning is horrific though. Skinning's 443,770. But the one upside to skinning is you can level up weapon masteries while leveling up skinning. So uh, with how skinning is though, you could probably get like two or three an hour, even with it being this much for a full circle, depending on where you're uh, farming. I'm just imagining the uh, strange boar in Eden Grove specifically. Uh, but if you're farming a good farming spot like that, then yeah, you might be able to go full circle in an hour or something like that. Possibly, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe only two caches. So again, harvesting is going to be harvesting going to be your fastest one if you just want to go get it done real fast. Assuming that you're on a low medium pop server and there aren't people and bots running around farming everything constantly. And as for this preliminary guide, that's about all I can think to tell you. If you guys want to help out, uh, comment with any questions you have. And then here in like a week, when I get around to making the like final ultimate guide for leveling aptitude, like fastest ways to level aptitude for each skill, blah, 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 like everything, hopefully. I, I want to make a guide like that. But if you guys want to help, like I said, just ask me uh, in the comments as many questions as you have about this. So that way on the final guide, I can hopefully answer all those questions because I do my best to give you guys like the full information, everything I can think of. But it's hard sometimes to think of every single thing that people want to know or need to know. It's really easy to just forget some really crucial detail and just overlook it entirely. So if you want to help out, definitely do that. Also, if you're looking forward to a guy like that, definitely consider subscribing. Because I post New World content and New World news and stuff pretty much every single day. Usually at least one video a day. Some days like three videos. So if that sounds interesting, consider subscribing. That's it for this preliminary aptitude guide. That's generally how it works. And I'm going to dive way more into this once it goes to live. And I can actually test it on my main character.